Hey everybody and welcome back to part 7 of our full length HR report walkthrough. We're just going to keep the ball rolling from part 5 and part 6, this time integrating our turnover page with our design elements. So let's go ahead and jump back into Power BI. Now let's go ahead and close things out by doing the same exercise with our turnover page. And I'm going to try to make this absolutely as fast as possible by once again just copying a lot of the work that I already did on the other pages. So let's go ahead and just grab basically this entire section, easier said than done. We're just going to copy it over to our turnover page. I'm going to go ahead and delete that slider, copy over my new, uh, newly formatted values. I'll go ahead and sync my year slider with the other pages. And now I'm just going to go in very quickly and just make some updates to incorporate all of my turnover stuff with basically my, um, re my retention page, since the two are, expl are deliberately made to be very, very similar. So let's go ahead and swap out retention in this card with our turnover measure. Let's go ahead and grab our retention title. And we're gonna go ahead and just copy the logic, but create a new measure. We'll call this turnover title. We'll call this employee turnover. And we're gonna go ahead and change the conditional title here from retention title to turnover title. And you can see that that's now updated. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same exercise with our starting headcount and ending headcount, but we're gonna replace those with our departing employees and average number of employees. So let's go ahead and grab our starting headcount text. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new measure here that's going to be departing or <laughs> department, departing employees text. And we'll replace this with departing employees, departing employees. And we'll go ahead and create one last measure here for average number of employees. And I'm gonna make one small tweak here. And instead of formatting my average number of employees as rounded thousands, let's go ahead and add just one decimal to this. Since you'll see here that our average number of employees is 1,602.5, there can be a little additional precision on this average number of employees DAX measure. So I'm gonna add just one decimal there. Now let's go ahead and grab our first card here. And we're going to replace that with departing employees text. And we're going to replace uh, our ending headcount with average number of employees text. I'm just going to drag that back in into position. You can see it now matches 1,602.5 and 457. So I can go ahead and delete all of these cards. Now I'm going to try to go ahead and roughly position this line chart where its friend on the retention page is located. And I'm gonna do the same exercise here of kind of positioning my turnover percent by job level and my turnover uh, percent or rate by department. And I'm actually gonna make these visuals perfectly aligned to what I have over here. So let's go ahead and make this a horizontal bar chart and now I'm gonna go ahead and just very quickly copy both of these charts onto this page. And of course, I'm going to steal their formatting. So I'm going to grab my paintbrush here, click on this line chart, copy its formatting to this one. And I'm going to repeat the same exercise that I did previously. I'm gonna briefly turn this back into a bar chart so that I can make sure that the color condition being used is coming from the right measure. You can see currently it's retention, but it should be turnover. So I'll grab turnover as my conditional formatting color. Now it's looking much better. My higher areas of turnover are in the past, not in the present. 
So let's go ahead and turn this back into a line chart. You can see there are my orange highlight values. And I'm going to go ahead and change my line from that uh, weird blue to gray. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my formatting from this bar chart. I'm going to copy it to this chart and this chart. And then I'm going to delete that. Let's go ahead and resize our bar charts super fast. Of course, I have the same dilemma with my conditional formatting. Because I used uh, the format painter for a visual that was uh, conditionally formatted based on head count, these two visuals are now conditionally formatted based on head count. So let me just go ahead and multi-select them. I'll go to my bars open up my conditional formatting settings, and instead of using uh, retention, rather, uh, let's go ahead and use our turnover measure. Now you can see that I have the orange uh, values or my accent colors are at the top where they should be. And the same goes for this visual. And so, of course, I want to call the first visual turnover rate by year. That'll work just fine. Let's go ahead and change the title of this bar chart to by job level and by department. Now I need to, uh, it's time to start focusing my attention over here on the sort of uh, spotlight area that I created. So let me go ahead and just hop back over here. I'm going to grab this text box that I created because I think I can reuse that a little bit more easily here. But let's go ahead and change this to what do we know about employees who have left the company? And I'm going to hop back over here just long enough to remind myself which orange color I was using. And then we have to ask ourselves, what would it make sense to highlight here? And I'm going to highlight employees and use my orange color and left the company. Basically just enough so that somebody can quickly scan this and know that this entire section is about employees who have left the company. First, I'm going to go ahead and resize my table here. I'm going to go ahead and resize this as well. That's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and head back over to head count and let's go ahead and grab a couple of these visuals so that we can paste them over here on our turnover page. <clears throat> and copy their formatting. I just find this to be the easiest way of minimizing the amount of formatting that I have to do. And before I get to the table, let's just go ahead and finish formatting these just to make things a little bit faster. So first I'm going to grab all three of these visuals and just move them a little bit more towards the center. Now let's go ahead and change the title of this to by termination reason and by termination type. This visual is already pretty well formatted, but I do want to reformat this one a little bit because it's using obviously colors that are not a part of our theme here. You can see voluntary tends to make up, or it looks like it makes up the vast majority of ter uh, termination types here. So let's go ahead and change uh, this voluntary color from this sort of uh, very vibrant kind of sky blue. Let's go ahead and change it to orange. And let's, instead of using this dark blue for involuntary, let's just let that be kind of a dark gray. And if we want to, you know, on this page, we just kind of left the X axis as is. If we want to mix things up a little bit, we can experiment. Since we only have two types uh, of, of termination options here, 
just voluntary and involuntary, if we wanna experiment with getting rid of the x-axis and adding something like data labels, it might make sense for this specific visual uh, just because you know I've, I've done HR analytics enough in, involuntary and voluntary are typically the two main reasons. There might be like an other bucket, but typically it's always involuntary and voluntary. So we'll go ahead and just keep that change so that instead of using an axis, both values are clearly labeled. And now let's just quickly go through very fast and update our table with some of the same formatting options. You know, we don't want to uh, get too carried away with formatting the table. We definitely want to keep it very, very simple. So let's go ahead and change, change our column names to make sure that everything is standardized. That takes up the space pretty well. Uh, if we want to, we can also, you know, make this term date a format that's a little bit easier to read. So instead of using the full spelled out date, let's just make that a short date. There we go. We can even do something like, you know, maybe we're interested in knowing the value of employees that have left the company. That could be an interesting way to look at this information, even though, honestly, I'm just kind of grasping at this point. And now let's just go through and again, we want to keep this table as simple as possible. So I'm noticing these blue grid lines. Those are, you know, we're not really adding all that much. So let's go ahead and just get rid of those blue colors. Maybe we want to just make them gray so that they're there, but they're not really pulling attention to themselves. Maybe we want to do something like getting rid of the alternating white and gray lines. Let's just use white backgrounds for all of our data. Not really seeing a reason to have that horizontal grid line. You know, people can still just easily scroll through. It's not a very big table, so people can highlight, you know, any row that they're specifically interested in seeing. Pretty easy to process this on the whole. So let's go ahead uh, and uh, update our fonts, of course, to be the same uh, DIN font that we've been using everywhere else in the tool up to this point. And if we wanna add, you know, just like one little flourish of color, you know, maybe we really wanna pull people's attention to the totals down here. So I'll just go ahead and add an orange background just for that. Maybe white text, even make it a little bit larger. It looks like I've gotten a little bit of room to make that table a little bit bigger. The last change that I'm going to make is instead of, uh, you know, calling this column full name, which is super obvious that these are names, maybe you even want to change the name of this column to departing employee. Just adds an extra sense of urgency to someone who is looking at this table. Instead of just seeing names, now they're thinking about the names in this table as people who have left the company. But there we go, there's our turnover page. Obviously super, super fast because at this point, by the time we're three pages in, we have enough other formatting choices that we've made on other pages of the report that we can just co copy and reapply those formatting uh, uh, options to other visuals to really speed up our development time. So now that we've got our headcount, our retention, our turnover pages done, let's do another pass through this entire report and just add some more cool bells and whistles and additional features and functionality to the tool.